feet this way, two feet this way, two and two, that, and that shrinks up the ring. You say, I ain't fighting them unless you shrink it up. You know what old men uh, like to do? They like to remember the good times, but uh, if you're a warrior, you want to stay in the battle. Now, when you was a young man, you was probably on the front line, shooting away. I mean, just in there fighting away. When you got older, you were in the back just giving orders. You were still under attack, don't get me wrong. They were still trying to kill the general. But Caleb and his tribe, his people, his family, he said, I tell you what, we're going to get that mountain. And we're going to fight me and you, you are my brethren, amen. This is the tribe of Caleb, and we shall take that mountain from the giants, from the last of the holdouts. We're going to take that mountain. He's 85 years old. He says, I feel as young as a buck. I feel just as young as I was. My strength is just as good. God gave it to me. Amen. Amen. Gave me the strength. Amen. Even though I'm 85, I may look like an old man, Amen. but inside is a 45-year-old. Amen. Amen. And I'm ready to fight again. Amen. Amen. I, I'm ready to get back in the battle. I'm ready to go out. Amen. Get my mountain. Amen. I want that mountain. I want that mountain view. Amen. Some people, they scared. They're too scared to tell someone about Christ. They're too scared to talk to, to, to God. They can't even pray to God. You mean you can't even, even in silence? I mean, I ain't open up your mouth now and start talking to God, but you, you can't do it one time a week? Mm -hmm. Talk to God? Mm -hmm. You that scared? Mm -hmm. You can't even talk to the Lord one time a week? Mm -hmm. Are you a little wimp? He said, I want that mountain. I want that mountain. He never let the mountain stand in his way or prevent him to go on. He was going to enjoy the satisfaction of walking in victory as the overcomer. He was going to tell his family and his clan, we took this mountain. Our family took this family. You know, people get upset with me when I tell them, I said, you know, my family fought in the Confederate Army. They said, are you proud of that? Yes. You said you fought on the wrong side. You know, we fought for state rights. We fought for state rights, and we fought because we thought we were on the right side. They fought because they thought they were on the right side, but we still fought. They're trying to take down all the southern flags and all those southern things down. And they don't want the statue of this, the statue of that, you know, because it's all, you know, prejudice now. You know, we prejudice. Well, Caleb's going to go up there and say, we're going to put a flag up there and it's going to show our flag of our tribe. And we took this mine from the Amalekites. It's God said, it's yours if you want it. My pastor, he said, I didn't do it like Brother Jack, our old pastor, my first pastor. My first pastor, he would say, see that mountain, boys? Well, he'd say, yes. He said, take the hill. There we go. All of us are jumping up. Ah! We went up there to the hill. Now, my pastor, he would say, see that hill? Anybody interested? No, don't worry about it. We got more. Mm -hmm. He'd walk a little bit more. He said, See that hill there? Anybody want it? Different styles, different generals. Say, hey, Amen. Amen. Caleb was the kind of man that said, I want a rough fight. I don't want an easy fight. I want a rough fight. I want the roughest and the toughest. Hey, Amen. I don't want to be a man considered no coward. I didn't see them run. I didn't see them cry. I seen grown men cry. 
front of their tents, weeping and crying, wanting these people to be back to be slaves, instead of fighting. It takes a man to determine nothing's going to keep me from getting what God has promised me, or what God has ordered me. Ain't no mind. I got God on my side. God orders you to get the mount. You know what you do? You get the mount. Amen. In uh, World War II, you had the Battle of the Japanese at uh, uh, Iwo Jima, the little island. The U.S. needed that little island so they could land its, its uh, planes there, refuel. It was close to Japan. They didn't think it was going to take a long time. They thought it was, you know, Japanese had already taken off. It took 36 days to defeat the Japanese. 30,000 Marines landed day one. 18,000 Japanese soldiers fought, died. Only 216 out of that 18,000 lived, took him prisoner. The rest died to death. 6,800 Americans died on that battle. Camp Nguyen was another battle. He never looked at Cape never looked at the size of the mountain. He didn't look at how much the enemies were going to be and how much it was going to take. Caleb just saw one thing. And, and he knew that God was on his side. And he knew that God was going to help him get that mountain. And he was going to get that mountain. Mm -hmm. He knew it. Now you get in the fight, I'm telling you, somebody's going to die. Amen. You stay in church for as long as I've been in church. I've seen them come. I've seen them gone. You know why? The wimps never make it. Mm -hmm. The ones that don't just trust God wholly are not going to make it. Mm -hmm. you got to sell out to God. Mm -hmm. you got to be willing to go, amen, and do whatever it takes to win the battle. Mm -hmm. 36 days they fought until they won that island. Amen. 18,000 Japanese, besides the 200 captured, died. Mm -hmm. Americans got a little frustrated. These people just don't know when they've been defeated. Mm -hmm. They've been taught to fight. Kamikaze pilots, first time you find drug use, they were smoking methamphetamines get high. They said, now how are we going to attack the Americans again? You're going to fly the plane because we just took you through basic training how to fly a plane. And you're going to take the plane and you're going to crash in to the battleships. And you drop my bomb? Well, we ain't got no bomb. We're going right out. You're just going to crash your ship right into the, into the battleship. They call them kamikaze pilots. They had a fighting spirit. They were going to die. They knew they were going to die. They went out there anyway. As a Christian, we're supposed to go out there and fight and tell them and live for Christ. And it's not as hard as people shooting at you. But the devil will shoot at you. Your family will shoot at you. Amen. Amen. The world will shoot at you. You know what you got to do? Make up your mind. Amen. Make up your mind. Amen. I'm going to take this mountain. I'm going to win the battle. Mm -hmm. Caleb didn't look at the size of the mountain. He just knew one thing. God's on my side. I'm going to take it. No mountain of lack will stand before me. I got God on my side. No mountain of sickness will stand before me. I got God on my side. No mountain of inadequacy will stand before me. I got God on my side. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. I can do all things. All things. What does that mean? I can take the mountain. Amen. I got the Lord with me. Amen. Now, let me ask you this. What kind of person are you? Mm -hmm. Are you the kind that believes, let's just get it on, and amen, and, and uh, God, let God sort it out? Is that the kind of person you are? Mm -hmm. Or are you the kind of person that likes to just weep all night long and say, 
helpful. Woe is me. Woe is me. Woe is my little life. You know, woe is me. I go through all so many problems. So many trials. I just can't believe it. Poor little old me. Which one are you? Mm. You the one that weeps? Mm. Are you the one that says, I want that mountain? I want that mountain. Which one are you? I was in England years ago. Years ago. I went with a church group. I got to preach with Brother Jack. That was the first time I preached with the old man. He was my first pastor. And when we was fixing a lay, we got one day to spend in London. We were at some uh, castle. I got to preach there in a uh, little town outside of England. It was, uh, it was probably about 30 of us. They all went book hunting on that Saturday. They all decided they wanted to go look for books. I'm a young Christian, early into this thing. I said, here's some money, here's a hundred. Buy me a couple books you think that I might need. I don't know what to pick. I don't know what R. Arthur. I said, here, here's some money. Buy me some books. And then you see you already read. You thought it would be a good, good thing for me. Buy it for me, okay? I ain't got time. I want to go sightseeing. All right? You know, I, this is a, probably the last time I'll ever be in London. <laughs> so we get on the sightseeing tour bus, and we're running all over the place. And I got the itch. I'm ready to prove. So we get in this park and we're looking around. We see these guys just standing on little box 